Alright, so I'm back you guys. Got another Mafia 2 video. So basically in the last video, we uh, ended up going to the war because we were stealing. So I guess the choice was between either going to the war or going to jail. So maybe he chose to go to jail. I ended up getting drafted, uh, veto. So then we got out because um, the, they stopped the war. Then we came home. They stopped the war for a minute, then we came home, then uh, Joe was like, hey, you gotta go back? Like, yeah, we gotta go back, the war ain't over yet, so we ended up getting some papers from Joe, and he stopped us from having to, like, go back to the war. So then we was basically trying to find some honest work, because our mom was trying to have us find some honest work. But we like, man, that ain't gonna get it, uh, because our sister and mom got uh, pressed by, like, a, a loan shark, basically, because our dad, deep in debt, so we gotta get money to help him pay off his debt and all that. But let's jump back into it. We gotta get money to help him pay off his debt, though. And all that. So it's like, yeah. So basically, we trying to do our jobs with Joe just to get the money back to pay off that debt that our dad owed. I don't know if it was like 2000 or something. Or 2500 Somewhere up in there. I don't know. But yeah, we our pops was in debt real bad. But I hope y'all having a good day out there. Uh, take, we should take the highway, Vito. Yeah. I be trying to, like, get videos out when I got time. Like, I be having to work. I got to work in the morning. So. Hey, that's all part of the deal, pal. Take it or leave it. Besides, it ain't like you're qualified for anything else. Ah, I guess you're right. Don't worry about it. It's all gonna be a piece of cake. Ah, dick. Oh, so I sure missed my turn. Mike's a good guy to know. He's a little grouchy, but he's always got a scam going. He deals with stolen cars mostly. Spent some time inside a while, pal. I heard he used to stick up gas stations back in the day. You gonna make him pay the cleaning bill for your jacket? Nah, I'll let that one slide. I do a lot of business with the guy. Plus, he's got one hell of a temper. One time he was at the track, and some mitt spilled a beer on his wind ticket. Mike beat the shit out of him till he went blind in one eye. For a lousy ten bucks. You that shit? Sounds like kind of a scumbag. Hey, he just got it out of hand these people. And Mike's a pussycat compared to some of the guys I've met since he shipped out. Hey, I keep missing the turn. <laughs> I thought I'm like, hold up. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to decide though. Uh, of course, I want to play because uh, this, like I said in the last video, I played this mafia before, like years ago. That was like way before I started YouTube and started trying to like do gaming content and stuff. But um, I'm most definitely gonna play the first one because I never played that one, and I, I want to play number three. I haven't played that one either before, so. Yeah, I'll be on the lookout for those two, and then I got like other stuff, other games I want to play also. So still got to, I still got to finish Spider Man, um, Spider Man Two, and then I got to play Spider Man One, and then also Spider Man Miles Morales, and then what else? Uh, oh yeah, I I, I finished Batman the Telltale series, but now I'm on Batman the Enemy Within. I gotta I gotta make some more videos of that also. So. Just be on the lookout um, for that, y'all. Yeah, I should have just got off the other way because this is long. It's a long drive. How far is this? Dang. Yeah, I should have been. I should have got off the other way. I would have been there already. I started taking the, the other way and just kept driving. Because I had missed my turn. Let me see. Try to speed up a little bit.
Yeah, I could have just avoided all that if I would have got off the, at that first uh, exit. I didn't get off right there, though. But that's cool. I realize I'm gonna have to do like a whole bunch of like editing because like I know people don't want to see all this driving like I yeah I don't think y'all want to see like me how long it taking for me to get to this place so I'm gonna have to do some do a whole bunch of editing probably like show some of the driving then just skip whatever to get to the all that but, yeah. place to park around here. I don't want to leave this thing out in the street. Yeah, that's why you're parking your car next to mine in the garage. The streets are full of criminals these days. Yeah, the neighborhood ain't what it used to be. He said criminals and y'all one of the y'all just stole the car, so <laughs> I I gotta say the streets full of criminals. Y'all out here stealing y'all stuff. Out here stealing cars and stuff. Ah oh, dad, wait a minute. I pressed the wrong thing. There we go. What is this back here? Oh, yeah. If you're hungry, there's some food in the refrigerator. What you got up in the fridge? Yeah, I'm hungry. Let's see what we got up in here. What you got? Some beer, cola. Let me get this sandwich right here. Like, bro, man. Sandwiches. Let me get some of them sandwiches. Alright, that's good. Your health has been replenished to the maximum. Crash on the kitchen couch to get some sleep. Kitchen couch? So you got a couch in the kitchen. Who would have known? Home sweet home. Got a trophy. Chapter 3, Enemy of the State. Joe's apartment, February 10, 1945. Where'd I find it? Dang, where'd I get? Oh, that's all over Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, me, your mama. All right, bye, mama.
Whoa, my bad, lady. I was looking at the map wrong, my bad. Popo. distance but okay I wish you can do fast travel on this mud we are already there Again, I think I do. Oh. Thought I was going the wrong way. Okay. So we can get up a little bit. Stuck right there for a second. We got steak and potatoes. Out of the dark, Wendy. What do you want? That boy jumped up so fast, like, man, you almost yeah. spilled my plate. Why? My name is Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, son of boy. Federico Papayano at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well. You all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. Yeah, it look like he got some steak and potatoes. Well, you will look. We just got a new shipment down low. Steve will show you around. Now, scram, my steak's getting cold. Follow me. I just thought about that. Like, back in them days, I don't know when the microwave was invented or what when it came out. But just think about if your food got cold back then, like how's you able to warm your food back up? Like think about like the 1940s and 50s. I don't know when the first microwave was like invented, but like yeah, you got to warm up your food again. Your stuff get cold. Load this pile of crates under that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. Ten. Something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. Nah, bro, I need more than 10 bucks, man. I need, like, <laughs> I need more than that. Let me get a 100 or 200. I need some more than that, than $10. What that's gonna do? 10 bucks. Let me get about 500 at least. Quick $500. Dang, like, how many crates is over here? Oh yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Who the fuck wants to move boxes around all goddamn day? Yeah, nobody wants to lift up no heavy boxes all day. Especially he only paying you ten dollars. I need about five hundred. Let me, like I said, five hundred dollars at least. 
I'm losing some, I'm losing boxes. Oh, it said the door's open. I'm out of here. I ain't gonna be doing it. I'm only doing two. I'm gone. I just read that. I'm gonna be doing no more of that. Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. Don't show your face around here again. Don't work. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait. You said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit, nobody, nobody who works, works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. Well, that's all you had to say. I didn't know you knew Joe, too. Yeah, as, yeah, as I'm playing through this, playing through this again, because it's been like so long since I played this. When this mug come out, I think it came. It was on PlayStation 2 when it on PS2 when it came out like years ago. I think it was, or was it PS3? I forgot when it first came out. But I think I played it when it first came out. No, it was. It wasn't PlayStation 2. It was, I think it was PlayStation 3. But it was so long ago though when I played it. Well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. Damn women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> My mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, you, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? Nah, go ahead. Now where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. You sure pulled the gun out like he's about to kill me. I, I think I'm like I'm remembering like some of this story because like uh, Joe, yeah, hey, this is Derek. It's Let's starting to come back. Yeah. Uh, what'd, what'd you say, you say your name was? Vito. 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 He's looking, looking for a for job. He says he's a friend of yours. yours. A, good a good friend. friend. I, just I just wanted, wanted to check, check with you first. first. Uh huh. Sure. We're well, here on all, all that shit over there. Right? Thanks, Thanks then. I talk, I talk to you later. Sorry, pal, I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. I need someone to give them a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect at least 150 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, they get in the Ah, man, let me get the whole 150. You gonna take 100, you say 150 bucks and just give me 50 and you take 100. Nah, how about I just get the whole 150? I want the, the whole 150. That's how they be taxing you when you get paid at your job. <laughs> you make 150 dollars, they take they take 100 out and leave you with 50. They, they be taxing hard. You be working, boy. You're like, man, I got to talk to bro. <clears throat> I'm here to collect the fee for the bar. Again? I don't even go to the damn bar. Here, you give it to the Roman son of a bitch. Thanks. Appreciate your cooperation. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. I was just coming to pay. Actually, he's pretty good barber. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. 
<laughs> hey, Derek needs you to pay the fee for the bar. You've got the wrong guy, pal. My wife cuts my hair. Yeah, that's sweet. But while you work here, you get a haircut when Derek says. What up? Okay, okay, you're not already. Here's your fucking money. Yeah, I'm glad you decided to reconsider. Oh, you probably ain't want these hands. Yeah, that's good. You ain't ready for these lethal hands. Hey, pal. Derek, Derek needs, needs you to pay the fee for the bar. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Oh, yeah. Bro look like he want these hands, bro. I'm gonna put you to sleep, man. Time for you to take a nap. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try, man, asshole? Yeah, I'm about to put you to sleep. Oh, I'm gonna put you to sleep, bro. They gonna be like, "Why, bro, sleeping on a job?" He took him a little quick nap. Yeah, what's up? Get these hands, bro. You ain't ready? Come on, what's up? You ain't ready, bro. What's up? Okay. Anybody else got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watched you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? You say he near, nearly got his butt kicked, or he did. He probably did get his butt kicked. Guy's been say nearly. Pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. I say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, we'll do. I'll see you later. Vito, I almost forgot. Joe call. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's. He who pays the barber. Uh oh, just got another trophy. Drive to Freddy's and lure Italy.
It's like all these places is like. I mean, this one as far as the last place. The last place is kind of pretty far. As soon as you call, what's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit? Yeah. We're done with the small-time jobs. It's time to make some real shut up. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hiya, Joe. This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen. I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. I want the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? Why? Too much for you. No, no, no. I'm just trying to think of how I can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around there somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria Enyo. Here's the address. Tell her I said it. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. But what's the job pay? 